The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In our study of geometry, we start out with the following four ideas. Point, line, plane, and space. The most basic figure in geometry is called a point. For example, point A. Notice that a point is usually labeled with a capital letter. If we have two points, such as points X and Y, we can introduce our next figure in geometry which is called a line. Notice that this line passes through our two points, x and y, so we can call it line xy, which is represented with a capital XY and a line over it. Lines can also be represented using a cursive letter over to the side, such as an L, so we can also call this line L. If we have three points, such as points B, C, and D, we can introduce our next figure in geometry, which is called a plane. Think of a plane as a wall, or the floor of a room, a flat surface that has no thickness. To represent the idea of a plane, we can use a four-sided figure, such as the one shown here. But it's important to understand that a plane actually has no edges. It extends forever in all directions. We can call this figure plane BCD. Planes can also be represented using a single capital letter. So if we use a P to label this plane, then we can call it plane P. If we have a fourth point not on plane BCD, such as point G, then we can introduce an idea called space. Think of point G as being below plane BCD. In other words, plane BCD is here and point G is underneath. Space can be defined as the set of all points. <laughs> 